yoke in to the pedal, but if somebody puts it too hard on there, what happens is it actually trips, trips in each box, the set speed right back up immediately, and then we just reset it right here. So that's also a really nice safety feature. Okay? As we're walking around with the team, we have quick, rapid adjustment uh, support arm. Uh, these, this is a lighter machine, this is 148 ton. So we've got um, uh, sheet supports on here right now that won't mar the material. Rapid adjustment on the bottom for the height up and down, and in and out as well. Uh, all the brakes come standard with quick clamp. Sectionalized upper tooling at each side has a horn, which is really nice for box bending so you can get into the corners. We also have four-way dies that come with these, sectionalized as well. American European die rail. Okay. The support arms are on a linear rail, very heavy duty, they'll take a whole lot of weight. It's just built very well. We've got LED lighting, again, side covers, independent heat frame. You walk around the side of the machine here, go into the back, you want to show the refrigeration on the back side. We have safety races on the back of the machine. Um, they also have on the front as well. We run safety lasers on the front of the machine as well. They just haven't been installed yet. So we have uh, safety lasers on the back of the machine. As far as the back gauge goes, very heavy duty steel construction back gauge, not aluminum, not cheap. It's very, very heavy duty. Dual linear rails here for rigidity and accuracy. And you'll notice on this machine, something's a little bit different here. A lot of, a lot of manufacturers run their R-axis actually on the finger and they raise the fingers up and down. The problem with that is the rails or the rods that it usually rides on aren't that strong. Okay? So what we do instead is we actually raise our whole back gauge here. We have rapid adjustment here up and down. And you'll notice how thick this steel is. So it's a much better way to run the back gauge up and down and keep rigidity. Okay? Servo driven, ball screw, very accurate, very fast. We also have Siemens motor, uh, Rex Roth, hydraulics. Uh, we also have uh, servo as well that's available, so we can do that also. So again, great machine, very impressed. Acural, Pro Series. Good. Good. Okay. Hi, right. you want to go to the electrical cabinet and some of the different features that are built into this machine. This is our Pro Series. It's got the power off and on, motor start and stop. This is a safety laser. So whether we're doing box bending or different things, uh, we actually have some different settings here. Um, if we did a robot on this machine, we have it set up so we can do foot pedal or robotic bending. Um, this is going to be a single cycle or automatic e-stop. Get inside the machine. Everything is going to be Schneider, Delta Drive, I mean, just very, very clean and sanitary. So very easy system. Yellow. Profile S offline software is also available. Emergency reset on the back. That's if someone walks through and breaks the barrier. Once that's reset, then we start a hydraulic motor. You'll notice how quiet this machine is. We also offer eco uh, energy savings on our drive. So when the machine is not in use, it actually goes into a standby mode, and then once the pedal is pressed, then everything cycles on and it presses and goes back up. So again, something really important, eco energy savings drive on these as well. I think you stop. So that's another one, another quick one.
about 1.8 degrees over bent. Okay? So I'm going to open that up on the control. Let's do a 1.8 degree correction. That would be a positive. So I go into my correction here. Angle correction. And all I do is 1.8 degrees. Okay? And I'll come back and I'll rebend it. And we'll look at how easy it is make corrections on this machine. See how quick the machine is, how quiet it is. Okay. Let's take a measure. We go 1.8 degrees over before. Made our correction. Showing we're about 0.3 degrees off. 0.3. About 0.3 degrees off. We'll do it one more time. And once we set it for the day, so we'll do it at 2.1. Okay, let's bend it again. Very easy, simple control. Okay. Now, one of the other things I want to go over is decompression. I want to show you decompression next. We've gone over this before, but I just like showing it because it's so important. If you're by yourself, and what decompression is, it actually allows to have single operator on a huge piece of material. So we have a piece that's full length. We get it set up on our support arms. We load it in here. Without decompression, this is what it looks like, and this is how operators get hurt because it bends. And then right now, all the weight goes onto the operator or you need an overhead crane. With decompression, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, I put it into my control. And this is what decompression does for us. So if you're all by yourself, it's a great big part. This is what decompression does. It takes the weight of material for you, so the operator doesn't have to miss the material. Very important, very important and a great feature on this machine. Also comes a CNC crowning, that's another great feature. Also, mute point, open height, those are all things I have control over on this. So right now I have the open height set up very, very, very high. If I didn't want to have it set up as high, I could do like a two inch open height. So after my bend, if I was doing clips or something that I didn't need a lot of open height. There's my decompression. Two inch open height. Open height is the distance above the mute point of the speed change. Okay. And if I were doing clips, obviously I would take my decompression out of there. So it 
look at something like this. If I wanted to bring it down even more, I could. As far as my open height goes, we'll do a one inch open height. Green that up. No decompression. Comes right back up. One inch. So if I was doing, just doing clips, I could do that. Now a lot of people say, well gee, I don't really like the speed change in there either. Okay. Well we can actually do something to get the speed change out. And what we would do is, we would set, remember, open height is inches above the mute point. So I can actually take my open height and do it at a negative number. And this is what that would do. Okay? It's obviously going to go in slow mode, but what it does is this. It opens up just enough. I may have it a little bit too low. To get your material through, and that's it. So if I was sitting here doing bends like that, Obviously not good for box work, but if I was just doing single bends, set that actually low enough to where it just barely clears the material. I think we're good. What else do we want to show? What else? What else? I don't know. That's, 